Special Prosecutor of the Republic of Ghana, Martin Alamisi Amidu, has resigned from his position of Special Prosecutor, inciting some interference on the part of the President in some works he's been doing, especially with regards to the Ejapa royalties deals, which has um, thrown government into uh, a state of suspicion because um, a lot of people have pointed out several issues pertaining to the Ejapa royalties deal. Uh, the president some time ago directed the Minister of Finance, Ken Oforiata, to take a second look at the Ejapa royalties deal with a committee in Parliament, according to Martin Alamisu Amidu, who took office on the 20th day of February 2020, uh, some to three years after that office was created, he says that interference in his work is so was something that has really caused and affected his reputation as a special prosecutor. So it's not going to continue anymore. In a letter cited, let me read what the special prosecutor actually said to the president. It says that uh, for immediate release, resignation of appointment as special prosecutor with immediate effect, Martin ABK Amidu Esquire. It says that this is to inform the public that I resign from my position as a special prosecutor of the office of the special prosecutor with immediate effect upon the submission of my letter of resignation with reference number OSP slash 2 slash AM slash 14 dated 16 November 2020, which was received at the office of the president at 15 15 hours this afternoon. That's around 3 15. He says that I should not ordinarily be announcing my resignation to the public myself by the traumatic experience I went through from 20th October 2020 to 2nd November 2020 when I conveyed in a 13-page letter the conclusion and observation on the analysis of the risk of corruption and anti-corruption assessment on the report on Ejapa Royalties Limited Transactions and other matters related thereto to the President as the Chairman of the National Security Council cautions against not bringing my resignation as a special prosecutor with immediate to the notice of the Ghanaian public and the world in undertaking the analysis of the risk of prevention of corruption and anti-corruption assessment. I sincerely believe that I was executing an independent mandate under the Office of the Special Prosecutor Act 2017, Act 959, and the Office of the Special Prosecutor Operations Regulations 2018, LI 2374. The reaction I received for daring to produce the Ejapa Royalties Limited Transactions Anti-Corruption Report convinces me beyond any reasonable doubt that I was not intended to exercise any independence as a special prosecutor in the prevention, investigation, prosecution and recovery of assets of corruption. My position as a special prosecutor has consequently become clearly untenable. He goes on to say that it is essential for me to state for the purpose of the record and contrary to public perceptions that my appointment letter was received on 5th February 2020, almost two years after my appointment, the copy addresses made no efforts to honor any of the conditions of appointment in terms of emoluments and benefits of the appointment ever since my warrant of appointment was issued on 23rd February 2018 to the date of my letter of resignation. I accepted the offer on the 10th January 2018 to be nominated to be special prosecutor because Mr. President and Ghanaians need uh, being an anti-corruption crusader all my life and not an anti-corruption entrepreneur. This explains why I have never put the emoluments and benefits of the office as central to my commitment and my passion for the establishment of an independent, effective, efficient, impartial, anti-corruption office of the special prosecutor before the end of the first term of Mr. President. This has not been possible for several reasons. He goes on to say that the deputy special prosecutor has also not been paid any emolument since her appointment and there is the need to redress that situation for her now that I am out of the way. The event of 12 November 2020 removed the only protection I had from the threats and plans directed at me for undertaking the Ejapa royalties, limited transactions and anti-corruption assessment reports and dictates that I resign as a special prosecutor immediately. Fear is not the enemy of change and I am prepared for the vacuum created on 12 November to meet the threat of my demise as the price to pay for serving my country without fear or favor, affection or ill will. 
I acted professionally throughout in the discharge of my duties and my conscience as the anchor of my strength to face any consequences. I am grateful to every Ghanaian for both the support and criticism during my tenure. When the real fact of my tenure become well known to the public in the future, history may judge me kindly. Ghana first, Martin ABK Amidu Esquire. So that was the special prosecutor's resignation to the president and in the very letter to the president he makes mention of the fact that it's not a corruption poodle and then it's not going to um harbor corruption activities within this government that is one of the reasons why he's also resigning uh, after uh, the president personally went through the deal and then the opposition national democratic congress and the governing new patriotic party have been going back and forth on this uh, very particular a Japa deal. President Mahama also came to show some shots at the special prosecutor and Martin Amidu came replying President Mahama that uh, he should also come forward for questioning if he thinks he's really a man. So um, the office of the special prosecutor has generated some controversies. It was met with um, a lot of uh, optimism by a lot of Ghanaians who were thinking that corruption was going to uh, be something of the past but it seems that that is not the case in this uh, very situation but then let me say a very big thank you to Crown Park. Crown Park are basically a menstrual pain reliever or just any pain reliever apart from you having menstrual cramps in your menstrual cycle. Wherever you find yourself, whichever body pain you're having, just get yourself a pack of Crown Park and you'll be relieved of your pain. And then one other person who has been speaking about the demise of former president President Jerry John Rollins is some um, general secretary for the uh, opposition National Democratic Congress, Mr. Johnson Asiedu Nketia. According to Asiedu Nketia, uh, Rollins was a man of his word. Rollins was a man of integrity. Rollins was a man of honor who wouldn't uh, trade nepotism and who wouldn't uh, be favorable because you are his family member or you are his relative or otherwise. He was as firm as um, a solid rock and then he always made sure that things were done in the right way and then citing one very example or one experience he had with former president rollins he says that one day one cousin of former president rollins shot into the crowd during a queue when people were going to buy kinky um let me not bore you with too much talk let us listen to johnson as you when we come back we wrap up Adia on pe e eh, nepotism. O pe se, ye use the same yastic e eh, de measure of all Ghanaians. E mm. nunti no, social justice, the laws must apply to everybody equally. Sa so, okay, se, minim se sa ad me, mi ka se okay, ye bi anami asu, mi se sa atem na osu, wanyi. As during the revolution, no? <laughs> early part. No? Mm -hmm. Now, I quite said the national shortages were whole economy, yeah, be bibia practically wouldn't be bibia until the corner cries and like cotton. And I say, oh, so how be a number of bibi. A more I saw line, Tony Emma. Now, kill those on nature says, so you are for any kids, a janja hoa. Your control say, Obia so ancient, he say, Obey John Puku and answer, you know, because it's a whole thing to uh, to condition the lives of Nepa say, you believe fair lives without cheating in the man, you know. I'm saying somehow incident be see, Emma, Mammy be sure, Nemqua, a cockoba say. Na a two to in a two net two, you know, a co free president Rollins, ne cousin, and a two satu, and a mammy be shrinking. And now, your dad say, Police for children and Fanon Coco to Nepal two to you. Never mind say, oh, yeah, Rollins cousin, and the no call court. Then you force you through. And now, Muko Boon, who beams our nephew on Fan Hunkudi. President Rollins signed Odasse, Yenchino, a state year appeal, Nian signed and covet retrial. And son, our Mukoye retrial, a boon for, and he suffered the punishment. 
So this is to tell you, sir, leadership by example. Yes. Opese gana fudi mraswa. Enfa honse ni busu ni ebu. So far sa consequence no. Uji na nche ni esi kubu mrano swa bi busu. Mm-hmm. Enu nti no. The leadership by example no so eh very very clear. O demonstrate no by bibi ya. All right, people, so that was Johnson Asedu in Ketia. And um, a lot of Ghanaians have been talking. Why has Martin Amidu resigned at this point in time? What is happening to the government? Because uh, we've seen Dom Levo, the Auditor General, uh, ask to proceed on some kind of leave. And then also, now as Mr. Martin Alamisi Amidu, who has resigned from his post, does this spell good for teams? The government, new patriotic party, or is this something that the opposition can really uh, join and then uh, portray or can they really make a lot of noise with this because it seems that as a country we are losing the fight when it comes to corruption. My name is Jepsam. You can always call me your MC General. Before,